hands up. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Can't you see I got my hands up? Hands up, hands up. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Hi guys, it's your girl Gypsy back with another video. You already know what time it is. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, a wonderful previous week, and hopefully you have a good start to the week as well. And why not start off the week with a little story time? Spice things up. Just not a big review, but don't you want to hear a story? That's not from a book. <laughs> but before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everyone who continuously supports me, who shares my channel, um, who just shares my brand in general. I truly, truly appreciate it. I do not take that for granted at all. I know if I didn't have, if I didn't have you guys to the support, then I would just be talking and talking and talking to myself, basically. <laughs> and I just can I just really, really, truly appreciate it. I'm very humbled by it. Also, we're almost at 80 subscribers, guys. Like, that's crazy. Our family's growing. Like, what? <laughs> so I appreciate it. I truly, truly appreciate it. But now that we got that out the way, I said my thank yous. Let's get into the story time. Are y'all ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! So I want to talk about my previous employment. And I'm going to pose a question. Was it worth it? Was it worthwhile to work at a retail bookstore? So a disclaimer, first of all, um, I just want to ask anyone who knows me personally that knows the name of the place that I used to work with, please don't disclose that information. I like to keep that private to myself. I just want to talk about my personal experience. Also, number two, I'm not saying that I am taking for granted that I had employment as well. I'm not ungrateful. I was grateful, but I didn't appreciate the experience I went through. That's all I'm saying. And also, I'm not speaking for every single employee that was at a particular company. I am speaking for me, myself, and I. So, that being said, let's get into it. So, I want to just talk about my employment at a retail bookstore. So, anytime you hear the word retail, you're like, oh my god, retail, like... And honestly, it, it's kind of true, you know, a little bit. Like, yeah, you get perks, you get discounts off stuff. I mean, some of my discounts are kind of, you know, disgraceful. But it's kind of accurate. The It's kind of accurate. You know, the negative connotation and everything. Um, but I just want to go over basically what I went through. You know, I'm not going to ramble on and on about it. But um, I... I'm grateful, number one, for the experience because it helped reignite my love for books. I've always loved books, but you know, you go to college, you're reading like 12, 13, 14, 15 books and stuff like that, reading material, and you're like, I am so tired of reading. And then you wanna like, you know, read books like this, and you're like, but I don't really have time. And then you like, you going out, or you're just doing stuff, and you're just like, oh my God, would I have time for books? So it was really, really nice that reignited my love for books. Also, to learning different stuff about uh, book selling between warehouses, between publishers, stuff like that, was really, really insightful. I thought that was very nice, you know, because I wanna be, I'm an aspiring writer as well. So being able to know what bookstores, you know, do, like, you know, the interaction with publishers, that really helps me with, you know, my process, you know, wanting to publish. I know what will happen, I know what to avoid, I know what to look out for, so I appreciate that and stuff like that. Also, a little hack, if you guys didn't know, because I, to this day, I still think this is cool. I might be really nerdy and corny for it, but y'all already knew that I was like that anyway, so, <laughs> what's new? So, down here, you can see, come on, focus. Are you focusing? Kind of focusing. Okay, well basically, <laughs> the price is up here, but sometimes the prices aren't always listed. But on this barcode, the smaller barcode, the last, yeah, the last four digits is the price. So say that $18.99 wasn't on here printed as a price, the last four digits on this barcode is $1899, so Price is $18.99. Just to let you guys know that. Thank you for coming to the commercial break and back to Red Schedule Programming. So yeah, so it was just cool kind of learning stuff. Now what I did not appreciate is um some of the 
interactions between employees, especially, but I know that's sometimes unavoidable, but also to any anybody who wants to open a business in a general sense, please, 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 and I know it comes with an experience, but please, please, oh God, please, check over your interview questions and make sure you're interviewing people who actually want to work. Now, mind you, everybody in a bookstore doesn't necessarily like to read which is understandable. Like you, you kind of don't want to employ everybody like that. You want to have obviously different types of people within a company in a general sense, but especially at a bookstore, you want to have different types of people because different types of people are going to walk into the bookstore itself. But it was like, everybody was lazy. Like it was, it was like, it was just mind boggling how lazy everybody was. And so when I would come up to the managers, I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, she didn't do this and she didn't do that. But just normal stuff that needed to be done, like straighten up books on the shelves. When we're closing down, like gotta clean the bathroom, make sure the coffee shop, whoever's in the coffee shop, that needs to be clean. Um, first of all, the cleanliness procedures. Oh, you nasty. I'm not gonna talk about that, but they weren't up to par. I'll put it that way. Also, that just showed me who's home not to go to because I ain't going to your house if you clean like that. That was disgusting. But yeah, um, I didn't like that. You could tell there were some favorites in there. Um, some people were pretty much stealing money from the company and people were going to the managers telling them about, oh, people are doing this and not, you know, like basically doing like high theft stuff and letting it ride for months. And it's like, okay, but I come in late. Like maybe I came in late maybe once one time you would have thought I'm about to get fired. And I'm just like, but you homegirl over here, dude. I'm like, okay, all right, cool. Um, also, the selection of books in bookstores, no, it is, it's just, <sighs> they can do much better. I remember they have a thing within my, the company to be able to submit ideas, you know, for the company to implement because with, you know, of course, a good company, listen to the employees, right? <laughs> no. So I put in an idea, one of the ideas was that there needs to be a better representation of just books from the African diaspora. I'm not just saying African American authors, it needs to be widespread. And from children's books to religions to multi-genres, it doesn't matter. Also when it comes to Black History Month, why are y'all only showing books that came out 30 years ago? Like obviously show the classics, but also show current books as well. Like there needs to be a good representation of them. So every time that Black History Month, I wouldn't go by, cause you get like actually a specific listing of books when they do displays. Like we just don't just pick random books. There's an actual listing that's given by the company. I don't really, I didn't go by it because it did not reflect me well at all. And I know someone who will walk in and be like, what is, what is this? Like, I'm not, mm -mm. And like, for example, for, oh my gosh, guys, it's really, it's not even funny. But for the coronavirus, they had a coronavirus like table, like basically so they had like games and stuff like that. Um, but they also had books that basically stimulated people's conspiracies. And it's like, why would you do that? Like, why, why, why? Like who's doing this <laughs> and stuff like that. And I just did not, I didn't like it at all. Like it, <clears throat> size. Like I just, <laughs> I didn't like it. Uh, another idea I put in there was to have a table for Caribbean American Heritage Month. And even though it's not as popular as it should be, it doesn't matter about popularity, everyone should be represented, you know? And I'm not of Caribbean descent at all, but I do have Caribbean friends as well. And it'd be remiss of me if I didn't advocate for cultures that need to be, that should be prominent. Like the people need to learn about them and everything. And there weren't a lot of Caribbean authors within even our store in general. And I made that crystal clear how that's an issue, how that we, you guys need to, there needs to be more books. Also, when we get books from different, you know, people from like, you know, B-I-P-O-C authors, there needs to be more than two books. Like, for example, a book Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams, numerous awards. Let me tell y'all how many copies we got. One, two, three. How that make sense? But for James Patterson, there's like 44 copies. And it's like, y'all, come on, like make it make sense and stuff like that. 
when you try to act like they they say you can advance in a company and honestly it's just not for me and I hope people get what they meant it's not for me because I showed immense just not even just loyalty but just showed that I'm very capable of having a high leadership position and the one they wanted to give me and y'all gonna calculate this I'm not joking only gives me a 50 cent raise <laughs> 50 cents dot five zero I'm sorry what <laughs> and that's not the position I wanted the one I wanted I basically it was assistant manager position and the one under it will give me 50 cents and I'm like are y'all kidding me no I'm not doing that for 50 cents no like you want me to do extra work for for 50 cents absolutely not and so the person they did give it to she might have been you know deserving of that but at the same time the way they did it was really ugly and i did not appreciate that at all i didn't feel safe at all there there was a situation where a guy was following me i made it crystal clear i made it known to the managers they did absolutely nothing they didn't call mall security mall security actually wasn't there also we're not gonna get into that wouldn't even wouldn't even take pictures of the guy or the camera like i didn't like it at all so what I will say overall about the experience, I appreciate that I reignited my love for books, as I said. Number two, yes, like it's an ability to have books within a community, especially if you don't have a lack of local bookstores. But also, you need to make sure that the bookstore is represent is a good representation, demographic of the community. The community is very multicultural. There needs to be multicultural books in that store. Doesn't make any sense to me at all. Number three, they actually need to respect their employees and listen to them. It doesn't make any sense why I should not feel safe when I walk into a store, why I walk into my place of employment at all. And regardless of the pay, it doesn't matter. I should feel safe. Like that's how it should be. So that's all I gotta say <laughs> as I go talk about it anymore about my previous employment. Um, I hope you guys, I guess, enjoyed my story time about it. I didn't want to go too in depth about everything because at this point I'm at a place where I'm letting it go. I'm not letting it consume me anymore. It happened. It is what it is. It's done. You know, I am currently unemployed right now and it was due to the pandemic. Now the way they told me, I ain't going to talk about it, but <laughs> um, I was furloughed, but I officially cut ties with them. That's why I felt a little bit more comfortable to talk about it because I didn't want to talk about anything unless I was fully cut with them. And that's why I did that. No, I did not officially cut ties with them so I could have a video topic. I'm not that dense, guys. It's not me. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. And like I said, I hope you guys like this video. Anything, if you do, if you are thinking about working in a retail bookstore, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will not steer you to try to not work in one. I will just be upfront with you. That's all I have to say.